Well, hello. <clears throat> well, I got a new gun. I thought it'd be kind of fun to show it off. Before we get into that, this article is important. You can pause your video and take a picture of that if you like. That is by a fellow by the name of Dennis Adler. And I thank him for his diligent work in coming up with this. Because through that, I learned what this was. This is an 1849 Colt pocket uh, revolver <clears throat> developed by Samuel Colt in 1849 and very, very popular. This is probably the most popular 19th century revolver the Colt Firearms Company ever made. Uh, I, I'm not that uh, informed on the history of the thing, but it's a, it's a very, very nice little revolver. It's a five shot. It's only 31 caliber. It's a tiny little bullet. It shoots, it was originally designed to shoot a conical, but all I happen to have at the moment is uh, some round balls. So that's what I'm shooting at it. I just got this this week. Uh, I bought it used. It cost me $200, which was, in this day and age, that is a remarkable price. And thanks to this article, I now know what it is. It's an Army San Marco and it was made in 1969. So this is a pretty old one. It's kind of cool though. Now, if you're ever interested, this is how you would take one apart. You push your wedge through, pull it, yank off the barrel, and then you can pull out your cylinder. You can fill your cylinder this way, or, and this is the beauty of this one, unlike the Baby Dragoon, it actually has a loading lever. Uh, it's, it's the old style without the ratchet, but it works, and it works well. And uh, let's put that back, put that back. This one, like I said, this is from 1969. It feels like it's been shot a few thousand times. Everything is worked in just perfectly on this thing, and it, uh, uh, it all fits together. That's why I can just push on the wedge here. I have some newer... Uh, black powder things where you you need a, a mallet just to pull this wedge out. This one you don't need it. Anyway, the it's just an, a beautiful little piece. These came with uh, three size barrels. I think it's three inch, four inch, and I don't know what, five inch or something like that. And uh, let me see if I have one on me. Hold on just a second here. I might even have a... Oh, nope, I thought I might have a, a tape measure on me. Oh well. Uh, let me see. Maybe I can do it with this. Yeah. Let's see. It's this way. Uh, well, three. Yeah, that's about a four. This is about a five inch. Uh, okay. I, I really wanted the really short three incher, but uh, I, you know, they didn't have any of those. And, and this is the only one they had at that price. So, uh, yeah, I, I sprung for it. It's just 200 bucks? Sure. It's almost like a, it's stealing. And, uh, you know, I... <clears throat> oh, let me show you this. I make my own black powder. And uh, I, uh, I actually make my own caps as well. So, uh, and you can cast your own round ball bullets. Or if you get a errors gone uh, bullet mold, you can actually uh, cast the conicals that this thing shoots. So this gun... You can basically own this and continue shooting it, even if they try to uh, uh, completely ban all uh, components for uh, firearms. Technically speaking, because this was made, or is a replica of one made, prior to the year 1898, this is not a firearm. Don't know what it is, but it ain't a firearm. Anyway, that's my latest and greatest.